Hello, today I'm going to talk about Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick. This particular shade is called Faded. Lime Crime is known for their very vibrant colors and shades and cosmetics. You can find black, you can find blue, you can find palettes, you can find neon colors. All of their packaging, always very bright, very vibrant. They have their signature roses on their vials for their liquid lipsticks as well as their uh, boxes for their liquid lipsticks. Um, you can always know that it's Lime Crime based on their packaging because all of it looks very uh, They all have a similar theme. They, they, it's, it's a really, really great company. They have a lot of beautiful products. They market to A and everyone, which is great. There is a shade for everybody. Anyone can pull off their products, no matter what skin tone you are, uh, man, woman, whatever. They have something for you. I love them. I've been using them for a really long time. Now, this liquid lipstick particularly is really, really great. The formula is one of the best. And this shade is actually my favorite. So I'm excited to talk about it because maybe it might be your favorite too. So you have the liquid lipstick bottle. Now this usually comes in a box, but since this is my personal one, I usually toss the boxes afterwards because I have a makeup bag and it's just, it's too big. The boxes are too big. It's a, it's a square box about that big around it. I don't usually use those. I just toss it. But this, the, the box has like the Lime Crime logo. It looks very similar to this, the Deco Wellness cap. And it has the shade, it has a shade label. So you know what shade it is. But again, I just toss those. You don't really need it. If you're a makeup person, you have a makeup bag. You know that, I mean, I have a million lipsticks, and so the box is just going to get in the way. So you have the red cap with the pink rose on it. Now, you can see that I've, I've had this for a while, and the roses are, like, coming off, but no big deal. This is definitely not a testament to the quality of the product. The roses can come off the cap. That's fine. The product inside is what matters, and it's still a really, really great product. It doesn't have any deck on the outside of the vial, but it does have the shade label, as you can see, um, and it says that the shade is faded. Now, one interesting tidbit. Here you see on the bottom of the vial, the batch code. Now, since Lime Crime is a major, major, major player in the cosmetics industry, there are a lot of knockoff brand, um, excuse me, knockoff versions of the brand. You'll know an authentic Lime Crime if you see that batch code here. So if you get something, you know, from someone and you're not sure if it's authentic, just look here. Just look at the, the bottom of the vial. You can clearly see the batch code. Sorry if it's a little bit blurry. Yeah, you can clearly see the batch code. Short indicator that you have an authentic Lime Crime. That's definitely something that you want to look for. So the, again, this one's going to swatch it for you so you can see the kind of color. And, it's, and this is, again, liquid to matte, so it's going to uh, it's gonna go on liquid and it's going to dry matte on your lip. So Lime Crime has the fuzzy brush, which I guess I don't particularly mine that the brush isn't smooth. Uh, it doesn't affect the way that the product is applied to your lip. It does hold a good amount of product. So because I don't need a lot of lipstick, I just wipe off the excess product around the rim of the bottle. And I just kind of clean it up to make sure that it doesn't get in the cap. It's no big deal one of the things that I do so I'm not wasting a lot of product and then when I go back to apply it again I kind of get that little bit on the side of the rim when I'm gonna put it on the second time so it's definitely angulated more flat on one side but that's okay the most important part is this tip because you can line your lip that way and then you can fill it in with the flat part I don't apply my lipstick that way I just put it on with the flat part I don't line it first I just fill it in, which is fine. Either way is fine. It just depends on what you're do, doing it. You know how you do it. Everyone's lip is, is shaped differently. So it just depends on the shape of your lip. But this one is really great. It's this point that I look for because you can line it with this. So for those who do put liquid lipstick on the correct way, this point is something you're going to want to look for in a good lipstick wand. You can get a good grip on the cap. This is go. Sorry about that. You can get a good grip, a good grip on the cap. It's it's long enough. No big deal. You're not gonna get any product on your hand. You can see it's on the wand there, but it's not gonna get on your hand. And I'm gonna get it like a little bit of a swatch for you, just so that you can see the color. Now this is like almost like a muted 
violet it's really nice it's really beautiful on and as you can see it's already starting to dry matte that's the one thing that I really like about Lime Crime is because it doesn't stay wet on your lips you don't have to put that much the payoff is great payoff meaning that the color goes on nice and nice and even there's no holes in it one good coat and you have enough product on you don't need to pack it on at all you really don't have to do that this is really great so again I just swiped it a couple times and you can see you can't see my skin on the inside of that the payoff's perfect it's like a muted lilac color it's really nice anyone can pull this off now one thing about Lime Crime that I would say for me is a little bit of a deal breaker is the fact that the fragrance is so incredibly strong it's like a vanilla flavor you can smell it as well as, well as taste it when it's on your lips it is very very strong so just be mindful of that I don't use Lime Crime too too often because of the fragrance it just it's it's just a really strong sweet smell it's almost like a like a berry like a like a vanilla berry type of smell it's just not my favorite and because it's on my lips I'm tasting it all day I'm smelling it all day so definitely just keep that in mind some people are okay with fragrances me personally I'm not so I don't use a lot of it it's transfer proof it's not over drying it's not gonna be in your cup it's not gonna be on your straw and it's an all-day wear you do not have to reapply this once you put it on you can drink eat kiss it's not going anywhere that's why I love this formula I stand by it um, so again, this is Lime Crime Cosmetics. Go out and try it if you're looking for a great liquid lipstick.